Hello, in this video tutorial, I will show you how to use Inspiration to create concept maps. And when you op open the Inspiration, you will see this uh, window appears. And of course, you can choose different uh, diagram, outline, map, or you open existing file, or you can also explore the templates. Here I will show you how to create concept map. So we choose map. Now it opens. And the central idea in this in the example I'm going to show you is teaching with multimedia technology. So I type in teaching with multimedia technology. And I see this uh box is uh, with the irregular curve around it. I prefer to have a uh, rectangle. So I select it and then I come to this symbols panel and I can select either the round shape or rectangle or a uh, rectangle with rounded corners. So I decide to use this one. And the other thing I want to change is I would like to have the background of this box uh, a, a have some color instead of white. So to change the fill color, so you move your mouse to this button here, then you click on it. Now I select the yellow. So now my text box becomes yellow, uh, has yellow background. And under this teaching with multimedia technology, the main concept, we learn the technology and also we learn the pedagogy. So for example here, I have having the subtopic is pedagogy. And then on this side I have technology. Of course here you can add more. For example, we learn uh, the learning standard, the New York State learning standard or uh, the teacher or student, uh, the national educational technology standard, you can add them. But for now, I just want to have two uh, subtopics. So I can remove the other three. So I select it, I say cut. And then the same thing for the other two. Now, under the pedagogy, we learn the cognitive learning theory and the cooperative learning. So I select the pedagogy, and then I click the subtopic. So here I can write cognitive learning theory. And then I click the pedagogy again, and then click subtopic. Now I add cooperative learning. And if I think these two are too near to each other, I can just move one a little bit, and this goes up a little bit, something like this. So now let's see about the technology. We select the technology box, and I add a subtopic, for example, lesson builder. And I add another one, Excel. PowerPoint. Maybe one more. Internet. Now, under the Excel, we also learned formulas or formulae. And also, we also learned. Um, functions, different functions. And maybe I add one more chart. Of course, there are more topics. And for functions, we can go further down. We learned a sum and average and the minimum and the maximum, etc. So now, as you can see, we already have a pretty good concept map. Of course, there are a lot of more things discussed in this course, but here I just want to show you an example on how to use this uh, inspiration. 
And we also need to know how to integrate technology into the teaching. That is, how to use the proper pedagogy and uh, take advantage of the technology to enhance student learning. So there must be some connections between the pedagogy and the technology. For example, for cooperative learning pedagogy, we can ask a student to work in groups to explore the internet and find out what are the uh, healthy food, for example. And then each group will create a PowerPoint presentation and present it in the class. So we can make a connection between the cooperative learning and the internet and also with the PowerPoint. So with I select the cooperative learning and then I click relate. So here I can relate to the internet. As, I, as you can see, a curve uh, appears. So I can change the shape of the curve by moving these two circles. So for example, like this. Now I want to move this to the bottom. So here. And also maybe here I want to move this side to the bottom of the internet. Of course, you have to make sure it's inside of the text box. Otherwise, it will not stay there. Now, we want to draw another connection between the cooperative learning and the PowerPoint. So, And in order to make it more clear, we can change this connection curve to a different color. So we can click on this um, toolbar here. Maybe I just change it to uh, a purple, maybe not purple, it's, uh, red or maroon. And then here again, I want to move it to the bottom. So again, make sure it's inside of the box. And also, I want to move this side a little bit to here. So now I make some more connections. So I think you get the idea how to draw a concept map. And we need to save the file. So click the file. Uh, you will see the drop down menu here in this recording. Uh, the, to the whole uh, drop down menu, half of it actually is outside of the recording area. But when you click on your software, you will be able to see. And once uh, you have this drop down menu, you just click save. And a pop-up pop window appears and you find the proper folder to save your file. As you can see, this file is saved in inspiration document format. And I already saved it before, so it asked me if I want to overwrite. I say yes, I replace it. And if you save it as first time, it will not ask you this question. And when you save in the inspiration format, other people can only view it using inspiration. What if you want to send to someone who doesn't have this software? So this software will allow you to save in other formats, such as PDF, PowerPoint, uh, not PowerPoint, uh, Microsoft Word, or an image. So you click File, and then you choose export. So again, in this recording, you may not see the export word. But if you look at your software, you will see it. You click the export. And then you can save as Microsoft Word. Or now, if I click the graphics file, there are different file format for uh, the image. So I just choose the JPEG file. Then I click Save. Then again, I find a proper folder. And I click Save. And now I overwrite my original one. And so after you save it to an image, as an image, you can email to anyone you like easily. And the other person can just open it and see your concept map easily. And the other feature I would like to show you is you can add notes for each concept. For example, here, cooperative learning. I want to add a note. I just click the note button here. Uh, so a text box appears. So here I, I want to write down, for example, I have a group project. 
So here I can also write um, students work in groups to explore the healthy food on the internet. And then they will present it uh, with a PowerPoint presentation in the class. So here I can write a note. And the other thing you can do is you can use image. For example, here technology. As we know, there are some uh, students who are visual learners and they prefer to see the image. So instead of, uh, in addition to the text, you can add images here. You, we have the libraries. If you click on the arrow here, you will see different content area. And now, let's see for the technology. For example, we can choose a computer or laptop here. So I just click on this. So now a laptop is associated with the technology. And you can, of course, add more. And the other is, so we talk about the visual learner, but some uh, other students, they they are not that good at looking at the images. They prefer uh, to see an uh, outline. So here you click the outline button, and the program will translate your concept map to an outline. So the central topic is teaching with multimedia technology. Under uh, this central uh, topic, we have subtopics, pedagogy, and the technology. And under each of these, there are uh, other sub uh, subtopics. So now we can also switch back to the map. Of course, you can also save this um, outline in a Word file or export it to a Word file. So now let me click the map again. So now we come back and then you see you can also move it around up and down so that it's in the proper place. Okay, I hope now you already know some basics. Uh, on how to use inspiration to create an uh, image map. Thank you.